Now, you said last week that the United Nations is facing a crisis of confidence because of the war in Ukraine, because Russia, a permanent member of the UN Security Council, has invaded another UN member, Ukraine. What can this week do to restore confidence in the UN? Well, first and foremost, we will continue what we have been doing over the course of the past six months, and that is condemning Russia, isolating Russia, and expressing our strong commitment to help Ukraine to defend itself. We want to talk about how we move forward to make the UN fit for purpose to deal with crises like this in the future when a permanent member of the Security Council attacks another nation, attacks the UN Charter. Are you or will any member of the US delegation meet with Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov when he's here in New York this week to try and figure out how to end this war? We have no plans to meet directly with Lavrov, but as you know, there will be a Security Council meeting on September 22nd. Secretary Blinken will be sitting in the chair for the U.S. and Lavrov will be sitting in the chair for the Russians. And he will hear for the first time directly from members of the Security Council our condemnation, our concerns about their attack. And he will hear a call from all of us to withdraw their troops from the uh, Ukrainian territory. We're going to also hear from President Zelensky of Ukraine. He's going to make a pre-recorded address to the UN because of the war. He's going to ask for more weapons. Is the United States going to give him the tanks, the long-range missiles that he wants so he can capitalize on this momentum they've made in this recent offensive against the Russians? We have been strong in our commitment to Ukraine. We will continue to support Ukraine's rights to defend itself against this unprovoked uh, invasion by uh, the Russians. And we will continue to hold discussions with them about what they need to defend themselves. It's really troubling countries of the global south, the fact that this divide between the US and Russia and China is really at its deepest since the Cold War. Countries of the global south feel that their crises with climate change are being ignored and that the effect on them of the war in Ukraine with accelerating food and energy prices, uh, that they're just falling by the wayside. What would you say to that? I would say to them that we are continuing to focus on those issues. As you know, our priorities this week for the uh, UNGA is not just to deal with Ukraine. Ukraine will be front and center, I can't deny that. But we're also focusing on food insecurity. Secretary Blinken will be hosting a meeting today uh, with the EU and the AU and Spain to talk about our commitments for dealing with the issues of food insecurity. We're also talking about global health and how to deal with the health crisis and pandemics of the future. We've committed six billion dollars to replenish the global fund and we're going to talk about the UN Charter and how we reform the UN to make it fit for purpose in the future.